Hi there, my name is Auntie Manda, and I have been asked to share the different kinds of masks that you can make at home to keep yourself and others safe from COVID-19. So the CDC recommends a couple different options for making your own cloth masks. One is a sewn version, and the other does not require any sewing. It just depends on what materials you have available and how much time you want to spend making your mask. I don't have a sewing machine, so I will show you how to do the non-sewn cloth version. So to make this version, the non-sewn cloth version, you will need either a bandana, an old t-shirt, or a square cotton cloth, about 20 by 20 inches, which is about the same size as a bandana. You will need two rubber bands, or two hair ties if you don't have that, and scissors if you're going to cut your own square cloth. Okay, now that you have your bandana or your 20 by 20 square cotton cloth and your two rubber bands or two hair ties, you are going to take your bandana and you're going to fold it in half. You're then going to take the top down to about the middle and then you'll take the bottom up to about the middle. Then you'll take your rubber bands or your hair ties and you'll put them about six inches apart. So about like that. You'll then take the ends, the sides, to about the middle and you'll tuck it in to the other. And then there you have your non-sewn cloth mask. <laughs> and if you need those instructions in writing, check out our step-by-step -step guide for the non-sewn version, which will walk you through each of the four steps I just demonstrated for you. You can also read the instructions for how to create your own sewn cloth face covering. This one you can get creative with and incorporate some of your own tribe's designs or create a ribbon mask of your own. This way you can represent while letting others know you care about their health as well as your own. And as always, make sure to wash your hands 20 seconds before and after handling your cloth mask. Treat it like a biohazard. Don't let it touch anything like the kitchen counter or the coffee table and put it into the washer immediately after using. Make sure you use laundry soap. You can dry it or let it air dry. And if you can't wash it immediately, you can put it into a paper bag for at least two days, someplace warm for the virus to become ineffective. Surgical masks can be reused too, but need to go in the paper bag for at least seven days. So I hope this helps and I hope to see you representing. Take care, my relatives.